Hey guys, it's Sonia here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a little while since I've made a video on this channel. It's been a few weeks, I think, now. Um, just because I haven't had anything to review. <laughs> I mean, I did have one video, but I accidentally deleted it, which was like a Mermaid's, Mermaid's review on the purple one, Riviera. That's her name. I accidentally deleted that, so guess you'll never see that. <laughs> but that's okay, um, because we finally got some new dolls. And uh, new Rainbow High in my country. It's old, new old Rainbow High. It's old for like every other country, but it's new for us. Um, so I'm excited. <laughs> I got these and I also got these two who actually are new ones, which is nice. These will be in a super video though. Um, so we just got a bunch of new Rainbow High stock. We finally got Pacific Coast and Shadow High, which I know are like really old, but we finally got them here, which is nice because we haven't had any new Rainbow High in so freaking long. Um, even though it took so long to get them, I'm glad that we at least got them. And then also we got Junior High Series 2, which really surprised me because this series is actually, like, pretty new. Um, so I'm surprised we got it. I don't really know why we got this and, like, nothing else that's new, but... Um, sure, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, but Shadow High. I love Shadow High. I have reviewed two Shadow High dolls before. It was, uh, Chanel and Nicole. Um, I got them on Amazon a while ago. Uh, and I really like them, and Nicole is my favorite. And I did want to get more of them, but I didn't want to pay just like Amazon prices for all of them because that costs always a bit more. So yeah, I was able to actually get them in store, which was pretty fun. So I got Natasha, Ash, and Heather. So I'm really missing Luna now, which I actually, like she was one of the ones I really wanted at the start, but honestly now I just kind of don't really care much about her. I don't know. I just think the other ones are a little bit more interesting. I wasn't expecting to get this mini. I thought I was only going to get Ash because I actually really like Ash. Um, but then there was a sale on at the warehouse. So if you guys live in New Zealand like I do, currently at the time we're filming this, they have buy one get one half price on all Rainbow High. I don't know if it will still be going when this video is up, but you can just check online or something. Um, that's like a really good deal, so definitely take advantage of that because we never get like good sales in Rainbow High, especially like things that just came out here. Um, so it's totally worth that. I definitely took advantage of that and got quite a few. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited to finally have these characters. I really do love the Shadow High dolls. Um, I just think they look really cool on a shelf. They just really stand out since they're just like fully like black and white, you know? It's really cool. And I know these are like old now, so I don't know if anyone will watch this video, but they're new for me. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Natasha because she's probably the one that I'm like least interested in, to be completely honest. Um, but I think her face is like so beautiful. I think I just don't really like her first outfit to be honest So that's probably why she's not my favorite, but she looks like a cute little ghost girl and I like that and also it's Halloween It's, it's October now, so spooky month Good timing. Also, I love the packaging for them too. I think you guys have all seen the shadow hat packaging by now, but it's, it's really nice looking. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just in a quick away. I'm just gonna cut the camera and open all of them and then review them individually. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I've opened them all up. So we're gonna go one by one. I'm gonna start with just showing their first outfit and then once I've gone through them all, we'll switch to their second outfit just to make it easier. So we'll start with Natasha. Um, she's so cool looking. Like, I just think her face, oh my God, the lighting, bro. She's so white, so the lighting is a little bit crazy, but her face is really nice looking. She looks like a cute little ghost, and I love that. Um, I love her eye color too. I love that they have colored eyes. Um, I think that adds a lot, but her makeup is actually so beautiful. It's kind of like subtle, but it's really beautiful. I really like it. <clears throat> she has some really cute earrings. It has S and H. Yep. These are cool. I haven't seen these before. And her hair is just like pure white pretty much. Um, it's really soft too. It has a little bit of product at the bottom but the rest of it feels really nice and soft. And it's kind of got a little bit of wave to it too. She's so pretty. Um, the outfit, like the dress, I, I really hate this dress to be completely honest. I don't know. I don't know why. It might look good on Roxy to be honest but I don't know. I don't like the dress. I think it's just the feathers and the giant bow at the front. I don't know. I think it's just kind of kind of tacky looking. That's just my personal opinion. Um, like the feathers, they're like fake, which is good, of course, but they just look really bad. That is just my opinion, though. 
I mean, it's well made as always. I, I like the, the cut, you know, the way it fits her and like the sparkles on it, but I just, yeah, I don't really like it. Um, and the heels, they're just kind of plain, but they are cute. These are pretty adorable. Um, but I feel like this first outfit is pretty plain. She doesn't even have a necklace on? Huh. That's surprising. She does have a bracelet though. Although I guess I'm used to series 4 where they have like, they all have like necklaces and like bracelets and stuff. But she's really pretty. I definitely think I'm going to like her second outfit more though. It just seems like it has a lot more to it. Also her stand is really cool. I just like how it's like pretty much see-through. I kind of wish all of their stands looked like this. Um, it's really nice looking. And they all do come with combs of course, which I mean I guess I'll just show. These are Ash's and Natasha's, but they're like the same color pretty much. And this is Heather's. Alright, let's do Ash next. Um, honestly, I really like him like so much more than I thought I would. Also, he looks so cool. Like, with color in the background. My hair is like so messy. I just think his grayscale looks really nice. Like, just everything's so gray, but it looks really good on him. It's really well done. Honestly, all of them look really well done, but I don't know. It just, it really stands out on him. And I wasn't sure about him for a while, to be honest, just because I hate River. I hate River. Like, I brought River, and I think I liked him at the time, but every time I look at him now, I'm just like, ugh. Why do I even own that? Um, so I think that, that Ash is definitely an improvement, and I think boy dolls are a great thing. We need more boy dolls, but they just don't do a really good job at it, I feel like. But I think he's definitely much better improvement. He's still got the exact same hairstyle as River, which is so annoying. I hope they can free them from this hairstyle. But it looks better on him though, let's be honest. I think he has, I don't know if River has these though, which is cool. Um, but yeah, his face mold is different than River and it looks a lot better, I think. Um, he has a little bit of a splodge there, like he's got eyeliner on, which is so cool, but he's uh, messed it up a little bit. Um, and I think on this side as well, but that should be easy to fix. Um, he's also got some like hairs, some like little black hairs on his face, which I think is just from the little, the shaved sides, because they are little, they're like flocked, which is cool. Um, but it, they are getting all over him. Um, I love his eye color. He's got like these kind of greenish eyes, just a slight green in them, which is cool. He has AirPods on, which I do love. Um, but I think they're giving all the boys AirPods now, which like... You can give boys earrings, you know, like you don't have to give them earpods every single time. But hey, it's better than nothing and <sighs> I might get these out. <sighs> there we go. You can remove them and they're just like earrings, so you can give them like earrings now, which is cool. <laughs> I like that, I think it's pretty cool. But I do hope they also just give a boy some like nice earrings or something. Um, because I mean, like boys wear earrings. Also they should have given him nail polish as well. Could you imagine like him with like black nail polish, that would be so cool. Um, but I really love his clothes. Like, I think I like both of his outfits. Maybe not the shorts on the second one, but this outfit is really cool. I feel like you would definitely see someone wearing this, um, on the street. And also, I can, like, mix and match his clothes with other dolls too, which is nice. I think his clothes are really cool. Um, he has this really cool jacket. It looks so cool on camera. Like, he looks like he's photoshopped in, and I just, I love that. Uh, like, when I saw him in real life, because, like, I was always unsure about him from the start, and when I saw him in real life, I'm like, holy crap, he looks so cool, like, just like, the black and whiteness is done really well on him. Got Shadow High, it is super cool, of the sleeve designs and stuff, 2022 on it, very cool, and then he has this cool shirt as well, and these pants, which have little holographic stripes at the bottom, which is super cool, love that, I love these pants too, these are so cool, I want to give this one of my one of my girl dolls, um, holographic over there as well, super cool, I think he's like, has abs, yeah, they always give the Void Dolls abs too, which I don't like, it's like, kind of creepy, I, I don't know, I don't really like that, I think it's kind of weird, I mean to be like, in high school, you know, <laughs> like, I think most high schools do not have abs, um, his shoes are also pretty cool, and also, since he's a boy, he's got articulated feet, which I still don't see why they do that with boys, but not girl dolls, I don't really get that, but, it's cool, I do like it, and he's got socks on as well, so that's cool. So he's got a lot to him. He's got way more than Natasha has on her first outfit. He's really cool. I like him a lot. Um, and his stand is just like, um, grey. Or, yeah, grey, dark grey. I really like him. I'm so happy that I got him, because he's super cute. Alright, next is Heather. 
who, ooh, her hair is a little bit messy. Um, she was one that I didn't care about at all, like from the start, to be completely honest, I didn't care about her. But then I saw her in real life and <laughs> I, my mind changed again, which just, I guess that's the thing, isn't it? They always look better in real life, don't they? Um, her hair's a little bit messed up, like these little tendrils are like kind of all over the place, I definitely need to give her a, maybe a boil wash or something, although it feels extremely nice and soft. Oh, it's so soft, but it's like her hair's kind of dented from being in the packaging, you know? Um, but I like realized that her makeup is so cool. Like I didn't really pay attention to how cool her makeup looks. She has like these over eye designs, which kind of like anime looking on her eyes, which is so cool looking. And I don't think any other Rainbow Idols have that. So I don't know if I didn't notice that before, but I really like it. I think I'm not a huge fan of her dress, um, which I think is is why as well. But she's still really beautiful. Um, I love her glittery lips, a little bit, um, they're a little bit smudgy looking, but that's fine, that should be easy to fix. She has these big, cool earrings as well. Um, yeah, she, she just has a really nice face, and she has split dye, which is pretty cool looking. There's like a grey streak in there as well. That's interesting. And then she's got these cool, like, chains in her hair and stuff like hoops in her hair which is really cool like I don't know how like they would have done that it's pretty impressive on a playland doll like let's be honest this is pretty impressive super cool she has this also really interesting little hair hoops at the back of her head which I mean they're kind of weird but I kind of like them as well just because they're just like so interesting I don't know if this is a real thing people have done before probably I assume so I don't know much about like high fashion or anything but they're cool I just like how strange they are like in a good way so she has a little choker on which is really looks like a spiked collar but it's not really spiked they should have given her a spiked collar did they not want to like give her actual spikes so they just gave her little like circles instead maybe parents would complain about that um I just I'm not really a huge fan of the dress to be completely honest I just don't really like um snake skin pattern to be honest it's just personally not like my taste but this jacket she has so she comes wearing it over her shoulders like this but you can also put it on normally of course but this jacket is amazing it has little like skeleton designs and look at the freaking back I had no idea the back looked this cool like this is so cool this is amazing. This jacket's perfect for Halloween as well. It's like rubber banded onto her. This is so cool. I can't believe- oh wow, it's got rubber bands in the jacket. They're sewn in. So you can put it over her shoulders. Okay, I mean I guess you can leave those in then if you want to keep it over her shoulders so that she stays. I mean that's a good idea I guess, but just really interesting. The rubber bands. Um, the back is so cool looking. Oh my god. This is so sick. I love the little ties too. This is a really nice piece. Look at the front. Even the front looks cool with the little pockets and stuff. It's so detailed. Um, I wish this was vari the variation of the dress because there is one you can get where it looks like more detailed. I probably would have preferred that but I think it's pretty hard to get. The shoes are simple but I like them. They have little like snakes on the side which is cool. But yeah. Pretty cool. Also, she's got a- uh, oh, she's got a ring on! Yeah, oh my god, I forgot about that. Do any other ones have rings on? No, they don't. Is she the only one with a ring? I forgot about that. She has a little ring on her thumb. I love that. I love that it's molded on, too. I know some people don't like that, but I love it because I would 100% lose it. Because look how tiny it would be. <laughs> it looks really cool. And the nails, they're like, they're sharp. So cool. She's really cool. I like her way more than I thought I would, to be completely honest. Um, I really like her. So now I'm going to switch all of them into their second outfits, and then we'll have a look at that. So let's do that. Alright, second outfit time. That took me, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll start with Natasha again. And, yeah, I definitely think that her second outfit is so much better than her first outfit. Um, it's way more detailed. She has this really cute fur coat with these little, it's like cool, like embroidered down the sides. It's really nice. It feels really cool as well. She's so cute. And then she has this like two piece um, skirt and top with like these beads on it. Um, I found the top was like fraying a lot. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna fray even more just like at the top. And I think it will probably just like keep doing that. 
because the material it is, but it's really cute. And then these boots, these are actually fabric boots, which is so much better than the like the plastic ones. I usually hate like the boots that they give the dolls because they're like big and plasticky and chunky. But these are so much better. These are amazing. It, they did leave like litter everywhere, but I love them. They're super cool. Definitely really glad that they went with fabric boots now instead of plastic. They're like a really like a hard fabric, but they are fabric and they're really cool looking. So yeah, I really like this outfit. Oh, it has like heaps of embroidery in the back too. It's cool. Yeah, I don't know why this one isn't her main outfit because this one's like so much better in my opinion. Um, alright, we got Ash next and his second outfit's also pretty cool. It's also like very detailed just like his first one. I think his first one's definitely better, but I think this one's good too. I like the astronaut shirt. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the jacket's like interesting, but I do like it. Interesting with these buckles, but it's cool. Um, again, this is like an outfit I feel like you'd see someone wearing. He has these shorts with these, these are black, like tights kind of. Um, they are separate to the shorts, by the way. Um, but they're pretty cool. I like the zippers and stuff. There's lots of details on the shorts too. Like these look pretty cool. And then the shoes are, yeah, I feel like they're kind of not that different to his first pair of shoes, but they're cool. I feel like their feet look so weird, by the way. Like the, the boy doll's feet, <laughs> they're like so huge. I don't like it. It grosses me out. And then we have Heather. Um, I love the top for this outfit. I think it's really cute. I love that like these two pieces are separate and they look really nice. Um, I honestly I don't really like the pants. I wasn't sure if I would like them or not, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't really like them. I think a little mini skirt would have been a bit cuter. Um, it's probably just a part of the snake skin, but also I just I don't really like the the cut of the pants, you know. Um, but they're okay. I mean, they're really like well made, and then the shoes. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not really a huge fan of snake skin, which I think is what it is. Uh, I think the snake skin looks fine on the sleeves of this like shirt, but I don't know. I just don't really like all the pants and the shoes. Um, but still, always like really detailed. Um, I don't have to like everything, you know. I'm not trying to be like critical. I'm just like saying that something just aren't for me, and that's fine. I don't have to like everything. I can still appreciate the effort they put into it. I did get a comment once saying I was too critical, but it's like. I'm never trying to be critical in like a negative way. I just want to share my honest opinion, you know, and if I don't like something, I'm not going to pretend to like it. You know, I respect the effort put into it and I, I like, I don't have to like everything. You know, I feel like it's a good thing that there's some things that I don't like. I think it would be kind of weird if I liked every single thing on a doll, you know what I mean? Because some things that I don't like, someone else might really like and they might not like things that I like and that's totally fine. That's how, that's how life works. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, these ones are really cool. I'm really glad that I finally, finally got them. And I hope you guys like this review. Even though you probably have already seen them before. They look so cool! Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!